Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Star Wars Lads. We've got our predictions and speculation for the latest episode of The Bad Batch coming out this week. That's episode 13, Into the Breach. Three episodes left in The Bad Batch as an entire series. We're going to give you guys our thoughts on what we think will happen in this week's episode. Make sure you're liking the video if you haven't. Subscribe to the channel for more Bad Batch content. Only three weeks left, so if you want to subscribe, we will be covering it in its entirety, in prediction form, as well as doing our live streams every single Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Pacific, where you can ask us questions. You can predict early, get some theories out there, get your theories out there early, uh, as we might discuss some peoples that actually mentioned some stuff on the stream last week, because there were some cool ideas for what might be coming here in the future of the Bad Batch. All right, so let's get into the episode, into the breach. Last episode, Juggernaut, we ended with the Bad Batch taking Admiral Rampart or ex-Admiral Rampart out of pr Imperial prison, escaping on the Juggernaut or the um, Turbo Tank, and then being rescued by Fee there in space. Admiral Rampart is the one that says that uh, he knows of a way they might be able to get to Tantus, even though nobody knows where Tantus is. So that's where we left with that cliffhanger. And then we have the other cliffhanger of Omega being put in with the force sensitive children in the vault. She's now living in one of the cells in that area inside the vault on Tantus. So those were the two things we left off with last episode. Sonic getting into those thoughts as well as the title, obviously into the breach. What do you think might happen in next week's or I mean this week's <laughs> episode? Yeah, I think this is a case of also kind of understanding the title and its meaning and then judging where the episode is going to go. It's, it's definitely not as straightforward as Juggernaut. That was fairly straightforward. It was just a matter of like how much more past that. This one is where it's like a little bit more open-ended because into the breach or like the act of stepping into the breach means to replace someone who's fallen, the void that's been left behind, kind of go into their place, their position. And it usually does refer to warfare. And when I think of like who's fallen, there hasn't really been anyone this season. I don't think there's really been anyone this season to really say, oh, they're, they're lost. But when I think of someone who's like, been lost been gone for a while now it, it would feel like tech and you know maybe trying to follow in his steps using his technology scrambling whatever information that they can get from rampart uh, you know making up for where he's not right and we've, we've also seen in the trailer a little ominously the one that they dropped a couple of weeks ago the bad batch are like hanging from some craft and you know, what cables on. So they're, it's almost like they're repeating the same thing that <laughs> led to Tech's death, right? Like scrambling around on doing some real high security stuff, infiltration, espionage. We don't know exactly what, but uh, with the way that Rampart has kind of hinted at the difficulty of really piecing together where Tantus is, it definitely does seem like them doing sort of another A-Team S commission with a lot of dire stakes. And I could see it being very similar to the season two finale where they have to go somewhere very high up or drop down somewhere with their cables, quick in and out, you know, just to steal something. And I, I feel like the visual of being in the position that is very similar to the one that resulted in the death of their brother, you know, that, that can definitely raise some things that definitely raises stakes for sure. But definitely sets in a lot more of a dour mood even more so than there already is amongst the bad batch you know they've already lost omega to now do something that tech should have been around for tech would have been helping them out for you know that's that's definitely got to like make them sharpen up be real serious be very somber about things so i think definitely though this episode wouldn't be very well done if we didn't see more and more of tantus like the last episode we got maybe 30 5% of the episode dedicated to Omega and Hemlock, I would say it's going to flip, right? I, I, I think we're going to see a lot packed into what the uh, Bad Batch are doing, but we're definitely going to see a lot more of like the pensive, more methodical, almost like emotionless filmmaking that was there around Tantus where it was very sterile. It presented us with the time that has gone through captivity of uh, Omega. So I think looking at now the fact that Omega is with these other children, 
these four sensitives that she could supposedly, you know, connect with. We know that her blood is to some degree uh, going to have to be mixed with theirs, but how does she connect with these kids? What is she going to do? Does she inspire them to like revolt or, you know, does she do something that forces Emery to finally be like, I can't like just follow through with the orders. You know, I can't, is she stepping into the role of like, okay, before there was your brother's, Maybe now, Omega, I have to at least stand up for you. I have to at least stand up for the clones that have, have been around for so long, but now are methodically being erased from this new empire. I, I could definitely see Into the Breach be like that. And the the fact is that she is also in a vault, right? She is in some void-ish space. So I, I think there's a lot of ways you could play around with the title there. I, I don't know if there's going to be necessarily further answers yet for Omega. I could definitely see... Hemlock and his mission, maybe something to do with that almost Dark Trooper S data pad. Maybe we could see a little bit more direct work on that, and we could see Omega's blood start to be applied to different things that could then show up in the season finale. Uh, but as as it stands right now, I I do think it is really just Bad Batch doing A Team stuff that reminds them of Tech and what they what they have to do to just get to Omega and get to Tantis, and then. For Omega's storyline, maybe stepping up and forcing Emery to realize, okay, I have to push back. I have to push back against this conditioning, this programming that everybody is just forcing me to accept. And Nala say and all these others like Omega are saying, no, you have a choice at the end of the day. You don't have to just fall victim to whatever is being ordered by the Empire. So I, I can see those two things being the big priority for this next episode. I was going to go that direction, too, with the focus being more on Omega this next episode. Into the Breach, I think that could be, in a way, kind of like a the last-ditch effort from uh, from Amiri Carr to get this her whatever her plan is to kind of thwart Rampart or whether her turn happens in this episode um, or how she gets on board with Omega. I feel like that could be a direction they go. I feel like they'll save the official turn of her character for the finale in a way in which she'll save the day and rescue all of them when they're in a bad place type of thing where it seems like she might go against them and, and kill them all. But then she reveals, no, I'm helping you out. I feel like that's the more traditional way to reveal her turn. But I think you're going to start to see the seeds here because last episode kind of ended with her giving Omega a bit of the cold shoulder but not wanting to answer some of Omega's tougher questions. I think we're going to see that dynamic a bit more in this episode. As for the Bad Batch, I think the snatch and grab angle is something that's going to happen because with Rampart saying that nobody knows the location, but he knows a way around, I feel like it's a piece of intel. It's a droid, maybe a navigational droid, uh, maybe something that connects like the the Sith Wayfinders with Exegol, something like that where there's a piece of tech that only that tech will allow a ship to make it through the right hyperspace routes to get to Wayland and eventually find Tantus. And I do like the idea that Wayland is like this planet that's very tough to get to. The idea of it being Palpatine's secret storehouse in Legends and the fact that like everybody kind of knows where it is is something that is a little odd. So the fact that this time it's very difficult to find, they've got obviously very secretive research there. Only so many people are in and out. They're using outside brokers to get a lot of what they need. They're not just meeting up like in, in broad daylight on Tantus. They're exchanging in an, like they were exchanging in Coruscant with Cad Bane, you know, like they didn't bring him to Tantus. So I like all the secrecy around that. And I like the idea of needing to have multiple steps to get there. I think we have to get to that final step here because like we've mentioned before in the lives, there's no indication that that episode 15 is a double length episode, even though we assume that because usually there's 16 episodes in a season, there's no indication that that's the case. And so if that's only a 24 minute episode, I feel like we got to get to Tantus, the Tantus base to Wayland next episode in episode 14 so where at however the navigation and difficulty of getting to wayland uh, whatever that process is 
that needs to be resolved in this episode. So I could see it being from an action standpoint, predominantly Bad Batch, but from a story, from a character, from an emotional perspective, much more so about the scenes between Omega and Amiri Carr, where they're just kind of hashing it out. I think that that Omega effect that we've seen on almost every bad guy <laughs> or every clone that's thought about turning bad, it's going to happen here for Amiri. So she's going to feel that. And I think by the end of this episode, we'll kind of had that feeling that she's starting to make up her mind. We'll also have found a way to get to, to Mount Tantus for episode 14 when we start to build up the crew, get Rex, get everybody kind of ready to make that assault and ultimately get there. So I I like the idea of the snatch and grab for Intel. I want to give a shout out to David Fieldson, who is always joining us for our lives and does have the very interesting theory that Lama Su could be the person who knows because Lama Su was brought to Tantus at one point. We do see that in an episode. So if they were able to find Lama Su, if he's in prison somewhere, or if he was actually granted his freedom, which I don't necessarily believe they would do that, uh, that would be an interesting angle as well. I just don't know it with Rampart saying that nobody knows th the uh, the place. That would be kind of an interesting angle if they decided, well, it's Kaminoan Tech and he knows a way to get to the Kaminoan Tech, kind of a a way to bring it all together. But I would love to see the Kaminoans brought back into this story as well. And I think Nala Say being a big part of this episode and the morality of this episode with Omega and with Amiri and kind of seeing what that kind of the cold shoulder with Amiri, the way she treated Nala Say in that episode a couple weeks ago where she kind of threw it back in her face. And I certainly felt like she almost was saying I was around i was your test subject your guinea pig before omega and you kind of threw me aside and now you're so focused on omega i'd like to see that clash come back i'd like to see nala say's protective nature that we've seen in the past about omega return here now that she knows omega's back i'd like to see all that play out and see how the kaminoans are brought back into this story as well but let us know what you think in the comments of course we always respond to your comments about what you think might happen in the latest episodes of the bad batch so send in those comments again like the video if you haven't it's easy scroll down hit that like button really helps us out almost more than anything but subscribing is the thing that helps us out the most if you're new make sure you subscribe like i said 7 p.m pacific every single wednesday we go live and we discuss the latest episode of the bad batch with predictions for the next week, giving you a review of what we thought on the latest episode, as well as taking your guys' reviews, your comments, your criticisms, uh, your critiques, talking about all things Bad Batch. So make sure you tune in for that as well. Keep an eye out on the channel for more videos. We did just post the Living Force review as well for the latest Star Wars book. You can check that video out as well and check out the shorts and community polls, which are constantly releasing new content. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we will see you all next time.